Welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on aircraft exterior lights. We'll explore their types, purposes, and when to use them during different flight phases. Stick around to the end as we will perform a practical step-by-step -step example of operating common lights during a short flight. You can download full flight checklists at monkairlines.com, which include detailed guidance on when to use each light during different phases of flight. Download our checklists at monkairlines.com, link in the description. The beacon light, also known as an anti-collision light in some aircraft, is a flashing red light located on the top and sometimes the bottom of the fuselage. It must be turned on before starting the engine and left on whenever the engine is running. The beacon light serves as a warning to people around the aircraft that the engine is active and spinning or about to. However, not all aircraft are equipped with beacon lights. In these cases, pilots use the strobe lights to serve the same purpose, providing a visible signal that the engine is running. Navigation lights are red and green lights used to indicate your aircraft's position and orientation. These lights are always on from sunset to sunrise or whenever visibility is reduced, such as in clouds or fog. During daylight hours in clear conditions, navigation lights are not strictly required, but they can still be used as a good habit to improve visibility. All aircraft moving on the active areas of an aerodrome, such as taxiways or runways, should display navigation lights to ensure they are clearly visible to other pilots, air traffic controllers, and ground vehicles. Typically, navigation lights are turned on just before taxi and left on during all phases of the flight. After landing, they stay on during taxi and are turned off once the aircraft has been parked after taxi. In larger commercial aircraft, navigation lights are often turned on at the gate as a signal that the aircraft is powered and preparing for movement. This practice enhances safety and visibility, especially in busy ramp areas or low visibility conditions. The taxi light is a white light located near the nose gear or on the wing. It's used during ground operations to illuminate the taxiway and help others see your aircraft. Turn on the taxi light once you start taxiing and turn it off when holding short of the runway to avoid distracting other pilots. The landing light is a powerful white light designed to improve visibility during takeoff and landing. Turn on the landing light when you enter the runway for takeoff. It's common practice to turn the landing light off after takeoff, typically when leaving the airport's airspace or above 3,000 feet AGL, depending on local procedures. In most airliners, landing lights stay on below 10,000 feet to enhance visibility in high traffic areas. They're turned off above 10,000 feet. Before landing, switch them back on below 10,000 feet to ensure visibility for other aircraft, ATC and ground crews. Strobe lights are small, intense flashing white lights located on the wingtips and sometimes on the tail. They are essential for making your aircraft highly visible during flight, especially in congested airspace or poor visibility conditions. Strobe lights are turned on when entering the runway for takeoff and remain on throughout the flight until you exit the runway after landing. Their bright, pulsating flashes are designed to catch the attention of other pilots and help avoid mid-air collisions. Pulse lights are an optional feature found on some aircraft, like the TBM 930 and other modern models. These alternating pulsing lights, usually mounted on the landing gear or wingtips, are designed to enhance the aircraft's visibility, especially during taxi takeoff and landing phases, or when operating in busy airspace. Wing inspection lights are found on some aircraft and are used during night operations to inspect the wing surfaces for ice or damage. They can also improve visibility of the aircraft during ground operations. Turn them on as needed when performing your pre-flight inspection or if you suspect icing in flight. Runway turnoff lights are specialized lights designed to enhance visibility during ground operations, particularly when making turns on taxiways or while exiting the runway. They illuminate areas to the sides and are used during taxiing at night or in low visibility. Logo lights, common on commercial jets, illuminate the tail to display the airline's logo. Used at night or in low light, they enhance visibility during ground operations, takeoff, and landing, but are often turned off during crews to save energy. At busy airports, they help controllers and ground crews identify the aircraft. Let's walk through a practical example of how and when to use the most common exterior lights during a short flight step-by-step. Step. 
Download our checklists at monkairlines.com. Link in the description. With the aircraft's batteries turned on, the first light to activate is the beacon light. This signals that the aircraft is about to be powered up and warns those nearby to stay clear. Once the engine is running, turn on the navigation lights. And then the taxi lights as you prepare to taxi to the runway. When holding short of the runway before takeoff, turn off the taxi lights. When takeoff clearance has been received, switch on the landing lights and strobe lights. This indicates to others that you are active on the runway and preparing for departure. Take off with the landing lights and strobe lights on. Once you are airborne and above 3,000 feet AGL or 10,000 feet in airliners depending on procedure, you can turn off the landing lights. The beacon lights, navigation lights, and strobe lights remain on during flight. When preparing to descend and land, turn the landing lights back on, typically below 10,000 feet or when entering the airport traffic pattern. After touching down and exiting the runway, turn off the landing lights and turn the taxi lights back on for visibility while taxiing to parking. Since you're on the ground now, also switch off your strobe lights. Once parked, turn off the taxi lights and navigation lights. Finally, after shutting down the engine, turn off the beacon light just before fully powering down the aircraft. By following this process, you ensure proper communication and safety throughout the entire flight. You'll enhance safety and visibility for yourself and others in the air and on the ground. Don't forget, you can download full flight checklists at monkairlines.com. These include detailed guidance on when to use each light during every phase of flight. Here at Monk Airlines, the mission is simple, to deliver short, concise, and highly informative tutorials. We make learning easy and packed with useful insights. If there's anything in the videos that wasn't clear, feel free to drop a comment so we can improve. We have got plenty more waiting for you. Whether it's mastering another aircraft or uncovering more aviation secrets, the sky's the limit. Thank you for your time. You are cleared for takeoff.